last section, we learned how interrupt service routines can be incorporated into a program. For example, in this flowchart, once the program has initialized the output pin and started the timer, it can go do some other task. While the general purpose timer is counting, the CPU can be totally preoccupied with something else. However, when the timer finishes counting, it can interrupt the CPU by sending out an announcement that the timer's appointed task is complete. The CPU can then momentarily leave what it was doing and toggle the red LED. The CPU then can return to its previous work until the timer announces that it is done counting again. In this section, we look at one of the most useful things that microcontrollers can do while they're waiting for the peripherals to interrupt them. Believe it or not, many microcontrollers will go to sleep until their interrupt service routines sound an alarm to wake them back up. The MSP430 can be put into what is called a low power mode that reduces the amount of power that your microcontroller consumes. In low power mode, while the peripherals are operating, the CPU can be disabled. It does not execute any additional lines of code. You can think of this as the microcontroller putting the CPU to sleep. Now when you're sleeping, you aren't using very much energy. In low power mode is the same idea. Just like you can't go run errands when you're sleeping, your CPU can't run code while it's in low power mode. However, while your CPU is sleeping, it can significantly reduce its energy consumption, and that's a great thing, especially for battery powered devices. A great analogy of a device that works in a low power mode is your cell phone. When you haven't used your phone for a few minutes, the screen doesn't just stay on and brightly lit forever. Instead, it enters a type of low power mode where it shuts off the screen to save power. However, an interrupt, like receiving a phone call, will turn the screen back on. Up next, we will show you that the MSP430 FR6989 actually has a number of different low power modes to allow designers to better, optim better optimize their system. Thanks for watching.